Roblox is a huge and expansive world with a large and sprawling online community. Starting in 2006 officially, it is now one of the largest sandbox games online. The biggest appeal of Roblox is the large amount of user-generated content, where players can create their own games and items in the platform. Of course, with so much content, it would appear that players can do anything, or so it seems. In this video, we will take a look at some of the rumors, myths, and glitches that exist in Roblox. Before we begin, though, don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more engaging and exciting videos on the games you love to play. The Missing Dominus One of Roblox's main selling points is the user-generated shop where users can add things to the store and sell them to other players. There are a variety of things you can dress your avatar in, from hats to skins and costumes. Of course, that can also come with its own variety of myths and legends. Back in 2011, it was reported that something called a Void Dominus was released. The item in the shop only showed a question mark along with no description. The item was quickly removed from the shop, but three people managed to purchase the item. Two of the user's accounts were terminated, but one user was named Merely. What's strange about this item, though, is that the owners of the item on the Roblox webpage will just say Roblox and not list the users. Going to Merely's account to look at their inventory, there is no such item labeled question mark or missing dominus. Users have even used the Wayback Machine to try and find proof that this question mark or missing dominus item even existed. Today, most Roblox users just write it off as either a myth or just some attempt at a creepypasta or other internet legend. Even more likely, this could just be an attempt for this Merely user to try and get some recognition for having a super rare item. The Witching Hour we're sure some of you have seen the latest trend on YouTube. Hundreds of videos claiming paranormal stuff happens at 3 a.m. Whether it's spinning a fidget spinner, calling the boss baby, or bull, the concept has become sort of a meme at this point. It has been mislabeled the witching hour because it is believed that is when old practitioners of magic would practice their craft. But the time is actually midnight. The 3 a.m. hour is actually called the dead hour, when no church services or ceremonies are scheduled to perform. That said, doing the dreaded activity has even made it to Roblox. There's a rumor where if you play at 3 a.m., spooky and weird stuff will happen. Oddities range from John Doe coming to terminate your account to an attempted hacking, but so far there's no evidence of such a thing happening in the game. To put this theory to the test, a user by the name of Enzo played a game of Survive a Natural Disaster at 3 a.m. and recorded his findings. Nothing out of the ordinary happened, aside from a simple lag spike, but that's hardly paranormal. We guess this just goes to show nothing paranormal can happen online. Now, if you want to spend the night in a cemetery, be our guest. Hey guys, we are very excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from The Richest, Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with ad-free browsing. Check out the Premium by clicking this link. Sign up for free and start binge-watching videos from your favorite channels. Error 45229 No online game is safe from the notorious game jacking hack or cheat, where something happens and your account is compromised. It stems from the very real possibility that your account could be scammed or hacked. There are variations of this in other games like Minecraft's Herobrine, but Roblox has its own version, Error 45229. There are two versions of this story. In one version, a player is given a link that says, please play this, followed by a suspicious link. This already seems like a common phishing tactic hackers use to get personal information from players, but it goes on. It's said that after you receive the link, weird things begin to happen and your computer crashes. After the computer reboots, the player will then log in to find that they are in a game called You Are a Fool to Run FR45229M Us. Now, from here, the player's avatar changes and everything with the player's name turns to 45229. Of course, there is no confirmed report of that actually happening, though there is a game called You Were a Fool to Run FR45229M Us, and the owner of the game is 45229. The game seems to recreate the events of the myth as accurately as possible, but like all spooky game jacking tales, this one is just a myth. Guest 666. Perhaps the most notorious number, aside from 13, is 666, the number of the beast. Quoted in rock songs, scripture, and other works of horror, the number 666 is one of the calling cards of the devil himself, and as a result, anything with 666 in it is supposed to evoke a sense of fear and dread. 
Admittedly, it is kind of cute to see something involving 666 be in a game like Roblox. It's like when a little kid dresses up as the devil for Halloween. It's just adorable. In Roblox, there is a prevailing myth about Guest 666. According to the rumors, it's said that Guest 666 is a guest that possesses all the admin powers in any game, essentially making him omnipotent. One of the signs that you know he is here is because in your game, instead of saying a friendly guest, it will say an evil guest. Many Roblox YouTubers have claimed to have met Guest 666 in their games, and some even claim to have chatted with this fabled evil guest. Of course, when you try to put this to the test, it's probably going to be met with obvious failure. Some users have even gone so far as to change their avatar's name and edit the code of the game to try and give themselves admin powers. It was met with nothing. Bummer. Smile. Smiling is creepy. While it can convey joy, happiness, and overall positivity, in certain circumstances it can be just downright creepy. Many creepypastas and internet legends stem from unnerving smiles. Just look at Jeff the Killer and Smile.jpg. Roblox, of course, has its own version of Smile, and while some may believe it is some weird supernatural force, it is actually just a hoax. As the story goes, like all internet horror stories, it starts with a random message. Players can sometimes get messages from a player called Smile. The message will read something along the lines of, Please play this game, with a link to a game, which if we can talk a bit about scams, don't click on links you get from strangers. Just don't do it. Ever. Anyway, so the player clicks on this link to a game, and the player is transported to a black room with something off in the distance. This thing ends up being a disembodied Roblox head with red splotches for eyes. According to the myth, if you touch the head, your computer crashes. Like with the other lies on this list, there are copies of this game found on Roblox, and none of them cause your computer to crash. You're just left with a slightly off-putting floating head. Oobly. By now, we think that you, dear viewer, might be catching on to a trend when it comes to these lies and rumors you hear on Roblox. Let's see if you can spot the trend in this one. So, according to this rumor, while players go about their normal shenanigans, they will be messaged by a player named Oobly. If the player ignores this message, eventually they will receive another that says, Save me. If you respond, it is said you will get an invite to her game. Can we just pause for a moment and talk about how these rumors and myths seem to amount to people begging you to try out their game? Anyway, when you accept her invite, she will message you saying, Thank you for saving me! The player's avatar will then turn all black and Oobly will have everything you had in your inventory. We've seen this kind of game jack nonsense back with error 45229, but here it is slightly different. Nevertheless, this is a complete lie. The only way players can gain access to other people's inventory is if they have the password. So as long as you don't give out your password to everyone, you'll be safe. For the most part, anyway. Lisa's. Online harassment and bullying are some of the biggest problems all gamers face today. No one likes it, everyone gets it, the only real thing to do is ignore it and not let the toxic players get to you. Sometimes this can be easier said than done. According to this story, back in 2007 there were two players, Malarina and Lazasia. These two were reported and bullied a lot for seemingly no reason. One day the two decided to go into a game and simply say, tick tock, tick tock, revenge will come, and then left, never to be seen again. Roblox banned the two accounts soon after, but Lizasia made a new account, the Lizas account, which is apparently still active to this day. Along with an active profile, Lizas apparently has a game you can play. The game seems to be a dungeon crawl of sorts filled with weird, creepy imagery and things you would expect to find in some low-budget supernatural horror. According to the story, if you type in Lisa's is fake, the game will auto-kick you. This little theory has been tested, and while there is a game connected to the Lisa's story, it in no way confirms the tale to be true. The First Player In the beginning, there was nothing. Without form, void, and darkness. Then the mod said, let the servers go online. And so it was, and it was good. Every online game in existence has to have a first player. Usually, it's the developers themselves or the playtesters in the early alpha and beta stages. But of course, there have to be stories like this one. While Roblox officially launched in 2006, there are stories that the first player signed on in 2004. According to the story, his name was Jerry. He was later terminated and replaced with Roblox. Nobody knows why he was terminated. More to that matter, it seems no one can really recall why this is even a worthwhile story, but we digress. Searching the player database, while there are hundreds of Jerry's, none of them seem to have existed earlier than 2006, making this story, once again, completely false. 
this story seems to share a lot of elements with the story of the admin. The story of the admin is less of a story and more of how games are tested before launch. It's an interesting idea, but sadly, it is not based in fact. Vault 8166 Every online game unfortunately has hackers and cheaters. This is a harsh truth, and can be a hard pill to swallow. Thankfully, those types of gamers are in the very, very small minority. That being said, it has been said that there is a group of hackers in Roblox and they congregate in the mysterious Vault 8166. Vault 8166 is a group of hackers that meet in a level that only the members have a link to. Supposedly, if anyone can get in the game, they can do anything. This includes banning people, changing players' outfits and inventories, and even creating viruses. Of course, since the story broke, there have been multiple copies, but so far all of them have turned out to be fakes or just recreations to try and fit the story. There have been players who have documented their journey into these levels, and while some of them are made out to be creepy or weird, nothing in those levels gave players the power to do any of the things that were mentioned in the story. I mean, if you really think about it, if there was a group of Roblox hackers out there, would they really make their secret levels so easily accessible? Gauze Perhaps the only thing more notoriously creepy than smiling are clowns. They are everywhere in the media. In fact, we had a huge influx of them in 2016. Whether they're portrayed in the media, stalking innocent people in the park, or being a real part of a serial killer's persona, clowns are scary to a lot of people. Because of this, Roblox has its own creepy clown legend in the form of Gauze. He is supposedly the spirit of an evil clown, which is already sounding a bit suspicious. If you've watched this far, you know that the idea of supernatural forces existing on the internet are ridiculous. But nevertheless, let's move on. Gauze naturally has a game where you are transported to his house where your character is killed in unique ways. Afterward, you are said to get personal messages saying things like just reminding you of your appointment at insert time. This is to imply that you will be killed again in the game. All in all, this is most likely just a character another player is playing to scare or freak out newer or younger players. We mean, we think if the killer clown was real, he wouldn't be playing Roblox. He would be right behind you! And those were some of the rumors and myths surrounding Roblox you might have heard about. Did any of these pique your interests? Did you have a Roblox myth you'd like to share? If you do, please let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer and check out our playlist for more videos on the games that you love to play. Thanks for watching.